Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, let's see here. It is Friday the 5th of summer. We did see Jazz on her birthday, I believe, so we succeeded there. Nothing on the calendar for any of the upcoming days here, so that's good in that we don't have any obligations on that front. It's going to be sunny tomorrow, and it is a neutral luck day today. Now, it's Friday, and I know that that means that we should go fishing, but we don't have to go fishing. We probably will, uh, but there's one thing that I definitely want to get done in this episode that we'll talk about in a second. So here we got mail from Pierre saying, Top secret! Here's the recipe for my famous blueberry tart. Don't tell anyone. So, okay. And then Caroline thanked me for stopping by her sunroom. And she says, I usually drink tea alone, but it was fun to share with you. I've enclosed instructions on how to prepare and grow your own tea. No pressure, but if you do end up growing some, make sure to bring me a cup. And that's from Caroline. So she gave us the recipe for a tea sapling. And here it is. It's two of any wild seed, five fiber, and five wood. Uh, we could do that. But I don't think we're going to. At least not now. Now, the other thing that we will be crafting today, and it was, was what I was going to get at a second ago, is we need to put some fencing around our coop. So we'll be doing that at some point. Now, we got some uh, wheat ready there, as you could see. So now let's... Oh, we get hay when you cut the wheat as well so like we got the nine wheat but we also got five hay out of that deal which is pretty cool uh let's grab nine more wheat seeds and we are gonna save all of the wheat right because we're gonna turn the wheat into beer once we have kegs which i can't craft yet I think you have to be at level 8 farming, which we will get there this summer with all of these glorious crops we are growing. So, we're saving the wheat for now. Plant some more. Let's go say hi to uh, Bennett. And then over to the mushroom cave. Still no purple mushrooms. Pretty sure we need the morel and the chanterelle mushrooms that we just collected. Now, see, here's why I want a fence. Like, the chicken came out here. I'm sure the other one... Oh, there, see, there he was, but you, I couldn't see him. They hide in, in, in the grass, or they, they don't hide, but they blend in super easy. We'll just go ahead and put that hay down, and then, I guess... I'm trying to put this one back in there, but maybe the silo is full? Is probably what that's telling me because it won't put it in there so we will put this in here along with the mushrooms that we want to save so we could go to the museum today uh so clint's and the museum and since we're gonna go fishing today well no i don't have any money never mind i was gonna upgrade my pickaxe but i can't because i don't have any money so, let's grab our fishing rod, which now has 68 bait still on there. Wait, I didn't water the crops. Dirt. That would have been bad. Miss a day of crop watering. But, anyway... I am feeling a little bit, I would say, under the weather, but it's because um, we had people flying into town for work meetings earlier this week, and last night we were out pretty late, had a few drinks, and it's, you know, you know it's a hangover. <laughs> 
Not a bad one, but one beer too many, perhaps. But we had a good time. I love where I work. The culture is awesome. When people come into town, we make sure to set aside some time to party. So, did I already get that first uh, hops trellis? I feel like I did. I should be able to tell when I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. <clears throat> All right. Put the water and can away, and we'll be down to the beach to go fishing by around lunchtime, you know? Oh, you guys go in there. I might not need these salmon berries anymore. Like, I'm pretty sure I still have some chubs stashed away. And before long, I'm going to get to the point where my tools are efficient enough that I don't need to carry, like, a ton of food. I'll have some. It's always good to have some. But I won't need it as much for energy as I do for health, eventually. So, Willie wants a sunfish. So, we'll try and track one of those down. I'm pretty sure I've got some saved. Hey, come here. So, I almost hit the trash, but then I saw Lewis standing here. Ooh, I wonder if it's anyone's birthday today. I'd better check the calendar by Pierre's shop. I guess you should. Jazz asked if I liked her boat. Where am I going, guys? I go this way. <clears throat> oh, we need to go to the traveling cart today, too. Although I only have 300 bucks. So it would be pointless. Because I don't have any money to spend on stuff at the cart. Especially after I bust these. I only have like 150 bucks left. <laughs> And it's not going to get me anything at the traveling cart, except, like, maybe a piece of hay. <laughs> All right. Ooh, 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 is that what I think it is? It is what it is. It is what I think it is. So, stand by and wait for it. Let's go say hi to these two. Hey. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. My mother used to drive the bus to Calico Desert. But it stopped working a few years ago. It did not stop working a few years ago. It stopped working, like, one season ago. I rode that bus here. Although maybe it was a different bus. I don't know. Mayor says there's not enough money in the town coffers or else he'd have it fixed. I don't know. I see Lewis out collecting taxes all the time. I mean, it's like the freaking Sheriff of Nottingham going around. So we got another reward there, and this is going to give us a reward. So we got two for two rewards today. Now, this is the one that I wanted here, the drum block. And once I grab these bad boys, we're, we got one bar of inventory already full. So the drum block is one, I think I kind of talked about it in a recent episode. It might have been the last one. That, uh, ooh, we got a book to read too. I have a sign off that I think I remember what it is now, but I couldn't remember which items the wit order, but we got it figured out now. So... <clears throat> Uh, marriage guide for farmers. Before you ask someone to marry you, you'll have to date them for a while first. When you're ready to pop the question, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. So, if you want somebody to marry you, first you gotta date them. To date them, you gotta give them a bouquet. And they have to like you a certain amount to be like, cool, yeah, we can, we can be, uh, we can be a thang. And then once you get to eight hearts... I believe it is you can uh you know pop the question but you got to get the pendant from the old mariner who hangs out down by the tidal pools 
Um, now, the other thing that you have to uh, paid for by Pierre. This message has been brought to you by Pierre. Uh, but the other thing that you have to have is the house upgrade so that they actually have somewhere to stay. So there's that. And then like the requirements as far as how many hearts you have to have before you, they will say yes. And I think it's eight. So. All right. Ooh, 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 rainbow shells. Heck yeah. Better get them before Alex goes and kicks them. I wonder what Alex is doing today. Uh, Haley. <laughs> huh? I didn't notice you standing there. What? Haley is having, like, she's having a heat stroke or something. What do you want? I've got more important things to do. Why is everybody being mean to me? What is going on here, people? Yeah, we have... We've got to get the big backpack. <laughs> Holy crap. I said we're going to get down here at, like, lunchtime to start fishing. Well, we're here at lunchtime, but we can only catch two fish before we'd have to leave. Actually, wait. I can sell this clam and the I can free up three spots. That'll leave five spots. That's probably worth sticking around. I'll probably end up getting freaking Oh, Evan, you look puzzled. The hot air could do that. Yeah, I think it uh oh uh oh. Uh -oh. Oy! Come in, make yourself at home. Cool. What's going on, man? Oh, that's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. Just uh, make sure you wash your hands good after dipping in them juices. All right. Oh, he's... So you've been catching a lot of fish. I sure have. Yes. Yes, I've been catching lots of fish. And Willie's like, Oh, I'm mad after my own heart. You can always trust a fisherman. That's what my old papa used to say, at least. Well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. Cool. Catch every fish. What's wrong? Aye, well, business has been tough lately. It all started about the same time that old community center fell to ruin. My fish just don't sell like they used to. So Willie's having a hard time. Clint's always saying about how business is slow. Robin's the only one who ever seems kind of like upbeat about how business is going. It, well, Morris. But Pierre is always like <sighs> struggling to make ends meet. All right. No time for me own projects. But if things picked back up around here, I might have something to, sh something to show ya. So, yep, she's back there. An old friend that's seen better days. So this is a 1.5 update cutscene. Someday, lad, you'll see what I mean. Cool. Hey, Willie. Uh, I would like for you to buy this, this, and this. Thank you. And now, I actually have more space than I thought. So, like, you guys can come down here. And now we have eight spots open. Let's go around the desk and say hi to Willie. Hey, or counter. That's a counter, not a desk. Hang on a second. Okay. Um, all right, let's go fishing. So we have 620 bucks. That's a tilapia. Nice. Uh, so we're catching some summer ocean fish here. There's tilapia, there's tuna, red mullet, um, red snapper, but it has to be raining, uh, puffer fish. I don't remember what else. But I think maybe you can still catch flounder in the summer. Could be wrong. But it'd be nice to be able to get enough fish that we can actually sell some of them. But 
I'll probably end up keeping most of our catch. Because I like to stockpile items early in a playthrough. There's a puffer fish. And bait. Puffer fish can sometimes be a little bit of a, a tough catch. Because it bounce around, bounces around some. If you don't have a pretty high fishing level, it's a tough one. But not when we skip the, the fishing minigame. It's an easy one. It's easier than... Well, it's just as easy as a sunfish or a carp. So there's that. What shall we discuss? There's a tuna. Yeah, there's no way we're going to catch enough of anything to be able to sell some. I want to catch like... I want. I like to keep five of everything. And sometimes more if I know I have to donate one to a community center or towards a, a quest of some sort. So, anyway. Or if it's needed for recipes. Yeah, there's a flounder. I should try and go into Willie and sell him. I don't know if I need the flounder or not. So, we're just going to keep them all. But... So red mullet and tilapia are the same energy. Tuna is more, it's the same as flounder. I'm doing myself a disservice by messing around and doing a playthrough on my, on mobile in my spare time because I get confused about like which things I have in one playthrough versus the other. Like, I'm pretty sure in my mobile playthrough, I have a bunch of flounder. Because I've spent more time fishing on that one. But I don't know. I don't know for sure. It all blends together. In my mind. So. <clears throat> so I've had a good run, uh in my sports betting uh, hobby. The last few nights, uh, I've done some betting on baseball games, and I don't bet much. Like, I usually do 15 to $25 a day, and I do it in a way that I'm more than likely going to at least break even. Um... And then anything that I think I can win above that, I put towards a parlay that would be, you know, like a $5 bet would win you like 50 Like if I'm pretty sure I'm going to win 5 bucks, I'll take that $5 and bet it. So like I end up betting 20 bucks, but I'm really only betting on three games, but I'm betting on them individually and then all together. And two nights in a row, we hit on all three games. So you got the payouts from those plus the payout for the, the parlay. So let's just go ahead and go. I could eat. You know what? Let's actually eat. Let's eat. We got salmon berries. I was thinking like, oh, I'll just eat a fish, but I don't want to eat the fish. I want to save the fish and sell it. But I've got salmon berries, guys. So we'll eat one more. That's going to get us pretty late into the night right there, I would imagine. Got a text or two. Or three. They're pouring in here. So. <clears throat> um, ooh, another new fish. So we have one spot left here. In our inventory. If I get a treasure. We might have to throw something away. If I just catch a different fish. Or trash. I'm totally fine throwing that trash away. If I have to though. So let's just keep fishing. And there it is. Super cucumber. That is a good score. Because. Um. 
I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that you can put into the potluck to get the best response. Not 100% sure, but I'm like 80% sure. And we got an iridium quality one. So I think it's like gold quality or above will do it. And now we have two, so I can put one in the potluck and still have one, which is good. That's 325 energy. That's a valuable fish right there, y'all. Well worth throwing away trash <laughs> to, to make room for it. And Joja Cola, I'll keep you over the soggy newspaper, I guess, because I can at least drink the Joja Cola. But neither are too valuable. The recycle machine, though, the newspaper, a lot of times, I think, gives you coal, which is kind of valuable. But it's okay. If I can catch another super cucumber... I would gladly give up the soggy newspaper for the super cucumber. You know what I mean? All right, we can do one more cast. And that'll be pretty good timing. It's Friday night. A lot of people are probably leaving the saloon right about now. Ooh, another super cucumber. Nice. All right, come on, come on. All right. Halibut's not bad. So we've got a lot of good fish there. Um, so the tilapia and the, the red snapper are not super valuable, but the others are, are pretty decent, I feel like. What's a halibut go for? Oh, it's the same. All right. Everybody's about to be departing the bar here. Ready? 10.30, I'll bet you, is the, the cue. Like, well, time to go. They already left. Alex and um, Sam and Abigail usually sit over there playing pool on Fridays. But they gone. I already talked to uh, Elliot today. Business has been very good lately. Do I have anything I should give her? I can give her a sweet pea. Have we already gifted her? Gave her one. Yeah, why not? Hey. <gasps> Thank you. Feeling a positive energy from this gift. Cool. All right. Yep. See, there's Pierre heading home. Everybody's about to leave. So, <clears throat> got there just in time to say hello to everybody before they all took off for the day. And so, that worked out. Now, uh, tomorrow, I'm pretty sure we will be, um, no, nothing needs to go in there. This is all over here. Boom, boom, boom. These are all new. I'm going to, oh, wait, tilapia. Nice. Ooh, halibut. Nice. And so we're full on our fishing chest. We will eventually have another fishing chest. We're not there yet. Now, soda, I usually keep in there. Let's uh, maybe just throw it in here, I guess. It's not ideal, but whatever. All right. Boom, 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 boom. You go in there. Um... Now, you guys can go in there. Now, you come with me. You come with me. And I want to say it's like this. No, I think it's like that. You'll see what I mean. Uh, actually, let's move these over. Now, you... I don't have anywhere to put... Well, okay. Sorry. Uh, so that, that, 
that, that, and that all come with me, and then oh, you guys switch. I don't need the scythe. The sword can do what the scythe can most of the time. I don't know if you can harvest wheat with a, a sword. I think you can. There are certain crops that you have to use the scythe. Kale or whatevs. All right, so we can go sell these couple of fishes, and then in the house, it'll be yeah. Pretty sure that's it. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, now. Here is, we talked about this when we got to level five fishing, like these choices, you know, like angler, you know, the fish being worth 50% more is obviously valuable. However, doubling the chance to find treasure is a big one because you can get a lot of rare items from treasure. So the more treasure I get, the more chance that I have of getting a rare item like a prismatic shard. Um, so we're going to pick that one. The key is we got to be really aware that we're going to get more treasure. So now inventory space is big. Because if I get, ooh, look at this. There's a flying saucer. What does that mean? It means nothing. Or does it? All right, so again, nothing on the calendar. But what's with the flying saucer? So another loot neutral luck day. Oh, we got peppers. We got the peppers. Let's just go ahead and put them away. Uh, we're on Oh, man, I was going to say, we're only going to save the regular quality ones. But we're probably not going to get that many regular quality ones. So, actually, wait, 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 whoa, 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 yeah, we need one there, we need five golds for this bad boy, so, we're gonna save gold, and reg regular, eventually we'll just keep golds, I guess, uh, but that, I think, will work. So we could sell the rest of these. They're not that valuable. They might even be better off to just eat them, but whatever. All right. Um, although I feel like I need a fair amount of peppers for recipes and stuff. Let's just keep all of them for now. We'll decide which ones to keep later. I don't want to get rid of them and then end up needing them, but not having them. So. Um... Mushrooms. We got to start saving up for a few big purchases. The upgraded backpack. The shed. Uh, those two are probably like the next two on my wish list. So, anyway. Today, we're going to be doing some farm cleanup. Um, and really, it's going to be more like farm organization and for starters it's build a fence around the coop so we'll get there in a minute and it really shouldn't take too long but i do want to kind of try and at least think about it a little bit as far as how i want the pasture to be arranged but we'll see we might eventually move a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm actually kind of thinking, like, let's just plop stuff down and figure it out as we go. So that the farm isn't, like, uber symmetrical and stuff like that. Like I used to go, there's a uh, website, Far Stardew Valley Planner, I think. Where you can go on and design your entire farm. Like, in a, you know on a website 
so that you can know exactly where buildings are going to go. So then when you start building, it's like, all right, you come down two spaces and over one, and that's where the first fence post needs to go so that it lines up perfectly so that you can leave there and go straight to your fish ponds. You know. Uh, wait, 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 no, 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 that's not going in there, is it? That's going over here. Yeah. yeah, we'll save all of the coffee beans. I don't really think there's any reason to sell gold. Hang on, my boss is gone. Okay, we're back. Um, sorry about that. And so, where's my mouse? Here it is. What are we doing here? We're putting stuff into the summer or the spring bin. But we need to put some stuff in here. Actually don't need that red mushroom anymore. Um Yeah, we can sell those. Did I water the uh coffee? Doesn't look like it, does it? Make sure we get that one too. <clears throat> Alright. So these can go away. Boom, boom. And then we need a bunch of wood. And let's go ahead and use up this hardwood. I don't need this much wood then. I need, wait for it. Let's just grab that. I won't even need that much. So we're gonna do hardwood fences. And, um, so I want to leave some grass in the coop that they can eat or in the pasture. I mean, so like, we'll kind of do that, I guess for now. And the, this pasture doesn't need to be huge. All right, uh, sorry. Dealing with work stuff. So let's craft some stuff here. So hardwood fence and gates. We're going to want a gate. One, two. We're going to want a bunch of gates. I like to have lots and lots of points of entry. Um, and so here's how we're going to do this. Let's now craft the hardwood fence. And we'll do 60 maybe. It's probably enough to get us going. So we'll put one post and then gate, gate. And then another post. Now see, I have the automatic gates app or a mod, which is sweet. Now I'm also gonna need a gate here. I shouldn't have done double gates because with the automated one, well, I will do um, double gates north and south, but if I'm exiting east and west, I will only need a single gate. And the reason I'm saying that is with. No. OK, so that's where the gate is. And then I need a post. Boom. Yeah. So with a horse, you can get through going this way. But if you have a single gate and try and take a horse through it, north and south, it doesn't work. So that's kind of annoying. Oops. There. That's probably big enough, I guess, right? Now let's go one more. And then we're going to want double gate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then let's go like that. And put a, another post there. Um, I've got one gate left. I need more gates. We need gates aplenty. Uh, let's do, so there'll be a north, so let's do two more. 
boom poof and now again here post did i do this right gate gate post gate nailed it there we go we have a pasture so they can come out in the morning eat this grass but i'll know that they're in here somewhere even if i can't see them very well they're there so that's that and that's a pretty big pasture for one little coop but again like i'm not doing this for like crazy efficiency this playthrough and like you know symmetry so i'm okay with it being a little bit wonky like we'll put our barn over here maybe and then like maybe fish ponds will go up here or something but we'll just kind of figure it out as we go this area over here is going to be for crops going down the eastern edge of the farmstead so we can now put this back in there and for right now i'm also going to put those in there there will be a different chest for crafted goods once we have a shed so um we need to save up for a shed that's our next big investment i think it's fifteen thousand. let me look it up shed so a shed is 15 grand and 300 wood so we're not going to be there for a hot minute so what else let's go uh let's go cut some hardwood since we did that today and or since we used a bunch today i really want to get my copper pickaxe upgraded to steel so i can smash these boulders and get them off the farm but priorities y'all shed is is one that i definitely want and then the, the uh i know i mentioned the backpack but the stable is also one how much is the stable How much are you stable? 10,000 plus 100 hardwood and five iron bars. So we need hardwood. We need cash. We need iron. Die. Yeti Tooth should dispatch these guys with one swing. So this was definitely a good find, this sword. I've had a little bit of luck with weaponry over the, you know, the last few weeks. You know what I mean? Death. Death. Oh, no. Death. Swing. The right direction. Oh, we need to come in here and go fishing one of these days. Keep forgetting. I also forget to look for Fiddlehead Fern in here. Um, and it, a lot of times, like, it blends in. So you kind of have to be looking for it sometimes or run into it by accident. Like, oh, whoop, they did. All right. Now, what should we do today? Let's, uh, let's swing down to the south part of the uh, woods here and look for some forageables, perhaps. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get out of here, weeds. Okay good so we'll just look for any forageable items down here and then um we'll maybe cut some trees you know we used a fair amount of wood for the gates so let's try and recoup some of that because why not i'm gonna run out of energy relatively quickly here man no forageable items what's up with that whoops wasted a swing i'm trying to think of like what kind of priorities we need to have as far as other objectives for the summer but um some of that is you know might depend on things that pop up as far as cutscenes and you know that sort of thing 
festivals. What festivals are there in the summer? There's the Luau. And then there's the Moonlight Jelly Festival. Um, so neither are like uber exciting. I'm trying to remember what the prize is. Oh, the prize for the Luau thing is friendship. So you get friendship points based on the quality of the item that you put into the potluck. You know, or the I should say not necessarily the quality of the item, but what response it gets from the Gavna. So the best thing to do is just look at the wiki and see what items produce what responses. So if you want the greatest response, look on there, see all the items that can induce that response, and if you've got one, use it. And then everybody's happy. There's another ingredient that you can put in there. I won't spoil it, uh, but there's one that you can put in there to get a funny response. Uh, and we might be able to do that one, but I don't know if we should. I'm just not that kind of person. It's kind of mean. But, whatever. Alright, we have enough, I think, to finish this tree right here. Yep. Alright, that one tree was left standing. Good for him. Or her. Do trees have genders? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, don't go in there. No! Oh, well, too late. She goes in, locks the door behind her. So, all right, um, we have stuff to put away, and then it's bedtime. Like, there's not a whole lot else really to say in this episode, uh, or in this day. We, you know, got some housekeeping stuff done, basically. 360 wood, so we definitely made up for what we used. I'm going to grab this fishing rod and keep it with me all the time. And what that's going to do, like, I'm going to keep my tools with me all the time from now on. Like, when I go to the mines, I'll just put the other ones into the chest that's up there. But having these on me and, like, limiting the amount of inventory space that I have is going to, like, encourage me to really focus on getting some cash um, so that I can upgrade my backpack. So I'm trying to think what's going to bring big time cash pretty quickly in the summer. And, you know, crops are pretty much it. But like blueberries take like two weeks to grow, I think, before they start producing uh, goodness. So it might be fishing that we need to rely on to get the cash for some of these big investments. Because there's 10000 for the stable, 10000 for the backpack. And 15,000 for the um, shed. And if you look here, our total earnings to date are 56. And we're talking 35,000 that we want to spend on just those upgrades. Plus, we have to buy some crops to replace crops that grow or whatever. So we need like 40,000 G to get all those. Uh, plus, if we want to upgrade tools, those are 5,000 a piece. To go to steel so i'm not in a hurry to upgrade the watering can um i want to get to where it's like this is the the upgrade from copper to steel for the watering can is virtually useless unless you have columns of five instead of three because it goes from doing three tiles in a row to doing five in a row well i only need it to hit three so you know, you're upgrading it, but not being able to take advantage of it unless you go side to side and do five at a time, which is annoying to me because I have to move after each one. So you got to like hit these, move down here, hit these, move down here, hit these or whatever, instead of just boom, 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 bo
So, yeah, that's that. Oh, wait, Willie wanted a, a sunfish. We can catch him at the bar. Catch me outside. Let's catch him at the bar and give him a sunfish. He's not going to give us a whole lot of cash for it, but it'll make Willie happy. Speaking of Willie, um, we went out for a happy hour after work yesterday and went to a bar in the old city in Knoxville. And Willie Watson was playing there. Uh, he was doing a show, or getting, he was setting up to do the show. He was in uh, Old Crow Medicine Show for a while and is a very talented musician. And that place was, it was getting jam-packed. He wasn't even supposed to start playing until like 8, I think. Um, but he was there at like 5.30 setting up and doing, you know, vo you know, a, a audio check and everything. And that place was already filling out. Boom. Hey, so you saw it. Oh, wait. So you saw it. Yeah, they posted. Thanks so much. So how much did we get for that? 90 G. Hey, we got 2020. Got 2020 vision now. I actually have slightly better than perfect vision. It's like we went to the uh, what's the uh, the eye doctor? Is it an optometrist? Um, but anyway, we went to the eye doctor a couple years ago. Um, you know, we got the plan coverage with our insurance and took advantage of a checkup or whatever. And he's like, don't come back for a while. <laughs> like, uh, you know, unless you notice a problem, you don't need to, you don't need to do this every year. Your eye, your eyesight's crazy good. All right. So we'll hang on to those and we'll smelt them in the morning. Uh, but I think that'll do it for this episode. So if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Comment below, and we will see y'all next time. And now that I remember this, this is where I usually would overlay my um, intro music or whatever. But I'm not doing that now. I'm basically just replaying the intro scene at the end. You know what I'm talking about. Later.